So often, uh, particularly in the West, in Australia where I'm from, in other Western countries, Muslim women are spoken about, they are spoken over, they're never spoken to, they're never spoken with. So there are a lot of assumptions made about what it means to be a Muslim woman, um, how they define freedom, liberation, what makes them happy, how they feel about their religion. Uh, but very rarely do we actually bother to ask Muslim women themselves about these topics. And so, particularly when it came to the topic of Muslim women fighting sex, I really wanted to include uh, the stories of these women because it seemed like both within and outside the Muslim community nobody seemed to think these women existed. Despite the fact that they've existed throughout history, it was like nobody knew about them, either that they couldn't exist or shouldn't exist. So I wanted to record their stories and in fact two of the women that I interviewed have since passed away which shows all the more why it's important that these stories have been captured. And in terms of a, a story that had a, a big impact on me, so many of the women's stories were remarkable and they were very emotional. They would often be laughing, crying when they told me. But there was one woman in particular who was very passionate about having um, access to the mosque. In, in the city where she lived, women didn't have good access to the mosque. They were always behind a curtain or a barrier. The women's door was always locked. And she was very frustrated about this because um, she knew that Islamically that wasn't how it should be, that Muslim women and men should be praying in the same room with women just behind the men, um, but no barriers or, or, or not being able to see. And so she decided that her and her friends one day would go to the mosque um, and just pray in the men's section behind the men, um, as was at the tradition at the time of the Prophet Muhammad. And so she, her and her friends dressed very conservatively, they went to the mosque and the men, and they prayed behind the men. So they were not next to the men, they weren't in front of the men, you know, for all intents and purposes, this was a very tame thing to do. And yet the men of the mosque got so angry that they called the police on these women and they were barred from ever going back to the mosque again. And when I spoke to her about it, she was so jovial. I would have thought she'd be quite upset, but she was just, she sort of found it funny and she was also very matter of fact. She's like, this is the situation, but these are my rights in Islam. These are my God-given rights. And I'm not gonna let these men take it away from me. So I'm just gonna keep fighting. And that kind of defined the spirit of the women that I spoke to, that they were very honest about what was happening. No one was trying to paint their community as this feminist utopia. They were honest about the sexism they were experiencing, but they were very also quite honest about the fact that this is not what my religion teaches, and I'm not gonna let men define that and take this away from me.